absolutely no reason to be cranky this morning. Because it was four strict days of celebration for you mm -hmm. and rest. Of course, everybody was chilling. <laughs> but if you would still rather not be at work today, then don't worry, just give us a few minutes and we'll be able to get you feeling better. Ever ready to go out there and get things done? Very simple. Yes, sir. I'll be water and pour you on the bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not feeling ready. We'll be ready at once. Wow. Well, okay. Welcome to the show. My name is Mike Messikenor. Mm. If you tune into TVC every morning, just now at 6 a.m., you'll find me here with the one and only Break of Change, Tilayo. Wow. I do love it. First, first <laughs> of her name. Yes, that's you me. To, you, you have to find a way that's and get the title. First of my name. You have to put the title. I am the Ever Dynamite. <laughs> yes, that's me. We're streaming live, people. TVcontinental.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Please send in your comments, your contributions, your suggestions, your complaints, mm. your prayers, your mm. everything. Just send it to us, please. Social media platforms are waiting for your messages. Use our hashtag. Wake up Nigeria. Exactly. You have to mm. use that hashtag. Yes, and something else you can do is download our mobile app from any store, the Apple uh, Play iOS store, yes, and of course the Google Play store. There's also the Windows, the Windows mobile. Yeah. Anywhere. And then you can get the chance to watch us anywhere. Of course. Around the world. And wouldn't you want to do that? I know <laughs> I would. We have quite a lot quite planned a lot. for you today. Quite a lot. Oludre Dare Michael an African contemporary gospel musician is going to be starting us off on a musical note this morning. Then we bring you another live musical performance, this time from Sarah Udeoku. Now she has a style of music that is designed to liberate you. Hmm. Yes, some people need liberation this morning. <laughs> Then we also have a pet discussion coming up this mm. week. Is it too? Yes, so he's He'll be joining back. us to talk about having a cat. A pet cat. For a pet. <laughs> but then we have some DIY. We're going to be teaching some of the uh, gentlemen and ladies how to knot a tie in different ways today. That should be very interesting. Mary wants to learn that. She's mm -hmm. very They're interested different in knots. This one. Very different knots. Different ways to knot a tie. Ah. <laughs> Then on parenting, we'll have Yeti Williams back. She'll be giving us tips, uh, well, us mommies and daddies anyway, tips on how we can successfully parent from a united front for optimal results. And then we have... Uh, There's so much. Yeah, just what you saw there now. Yeah. Our final guest. Yes. To copy this tune. Uh, oh, wow, <laughs> really? Like, press one. <laughs> really? When you hear that thing, when you hear that thing, when you hear that prompt, how do you feel? Sometimes it's just um, annoying. Like. Well, you know, things have really changed. <laughs> At, in the beginning, I felt like it was an invasion of, of privacy. Everything. Sort of. Like, mm. must I want to copy the tune? Mm. Like, must I? Why? Why are you encouraging me to buy something? All I want to do is make a call. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a very important call. It might be to your bank manager i might be god forbid to a doctor or something and then you had to copy this to oh, really do you know how many people actually pressed one well, without that's realizing the what they were doing until they realized <laughs> the money was being deducted <laughs> and, and what he said very good to copy this tune for free press one uh, the tune charge is 15 after they said free first time are you and now you're sure? free and 59 in sure? the same <laughs> sentence why do people, i don't know about that why are people being very very i don't uh, know if i ever heard that part like this like but this it's like interesting. This. it's great to have mm here she looking why is she so quiet uh, it's okay. so um, not mm what? I mean, what was that? She started now. But you're looking like. I'm well, trying well, to That's because I'm a little mind. cranky this morning. Oh, I mean, your hair? And, yeah, yeah, I'm having a really bad hair day. No, you're not. Thanks it actually looks for like, gorgeous. Goodness. Your hair looks well, amazing. I, well, I see. So the thing is with me, I have this OCD where I have like a vision of how I want my wig to look. Mm -hmm. So from my hair to my <laughs> dress. So yeah, so I plan. I'm very, very meticulous with, you know, how I look. Do you understand? So this week, I plan to be wearing a blonde look, but oh. apparently, uh, you know, <laughs> Fola decided that, oh, you know what, I have other okay, plans so for you, and I, I still You're think calling you out Fola's place today. <laughs> okay, we get yeah, it, we bad, get it. I have a bad shoe day today. Bad shoe <laughs> What happened to you? I plan to wear black shoe with tassels. Okay, and what happened? 
I'm like, I don't have the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a clown. So, Please, Mike. As I don't have the shoe now, <laughs> I bad shoe there. I don't have the shoe that I don't Go ahead and throw your shade. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some of us are just like that. I don't care. Some of us are just like but, that. And then your team natural. Mm, when you team natural, you take whatever comes. Mm. Well, take whatever comes. Yeah, you no, just, I don't you take just, whatever comes. You're just like the wind. You're just like the wind. You don't no, know where you're coming from, where you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that comes, you can just handle it. That's the concept of team natural. Do you know, do you know the amazing thing? I said something. I so said pretty. something in the morning. I said something in the makeup room. I said I have another reason to beef MM. I'm beefing you because you look hot. You were preggy mama and you look hot oh, every yeah, day. Right, yeah, I remember right. when I was in this uh, situation. So it, that is going to be I a very looked, long journey. I look <laughs> like a, a, a like a watermelon that was mm, the wrong color. Mm. I w I was. In every state of this, so I see what's happening. Here. I see what's happening. Here. What are you seeing? For those of you watching, I see what's happening. Here. Mm. What? This is uh, what, what you call um, uh, WSW. What? Wow. Yeah. WSW women supporting studio. women. Ah. <laughs> see this lady said the absence. No, but really, um, <laughs> that's have... just code it now. So it's a case of women supporting women. Yeah, you know? I, I got that. That's why I'm being quiet. Yeah. No, but really, no, but, uh, you you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Uh, Mike, Mike, yeah. if I have a feeling Mike would have been the first person to call you out if there was something wrong with your look anyway. No, Mike would, wouldn't be really? the first person to call me who, out. Really? No. Who would call you out? Mike, who, Mike who, would who dare not call me out. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, not yes, definitely. he would dare because don't, even don't on days that. where he's not looking don't so mind good, that. I don't call him out. Don't mind that. Okay. She, she used to be people that used to do, they, they say, you know when you start to naturally, you, it, you touch it a bit. And yeah, I say to Macha, I remember you're, from anywhere you're going, ah, you're not in natural. <laughs> let me let me catch you again. I will not, I will not, I will go. So, from anywhere, you just say to natural, you are, even if you're oh, not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not in natural, you have touched your head. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> the pre <laughs> pre in, in no, preparation. Like, so. No, I was even thinking it was pre the trucks being even um, be, yeah, being there, being there in the first video. place. Oh, so okay. that's why I thought I haven't been on that route. Someone in needs quite to a while, confirm so. that to yeah. us. Tweet mm. to yeah. us and use our hashtag. If it's true, please hashtag please. Wake Up Nigeria. We need to confirm it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pardon me. <laughs> that's quite something there. But if you are heading from, uh, if you're heading towards a jar, okay, let's see. Let's look at a jar axis uh, heading towards this particular point in time. Uh, for those of us that you know the VGC axis and all of that, <laughs> why are you laughing? Mm. What's with you? <laughs> why are you laughing, Emma? This is your why you, why island you mainland thing. I don't why know what's going on. So what's the, what's the traffic situation? Uh, the I'm, 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 you know, the traffic there is... Uh, <laughs> On the Brabinogan level, so it takes some time to put it together and all of that. <laughs> you go to the outskirts of the island. You guys have tweets. Give me tweets. What are you for assistant officials for? Okay, we have some tweets here. We have some tweets here. It says here, um, Iano Dokwemu is good. Um, no record of any breakdown. <coughs> Officers are already ready and they're already on the roads. This is as at about uh, 20 minutes ago. Uh, it says here, Shogun led to uh, Bolade Oshodi is also quite smooth, mm. um, all the way to Shogunle, Ikeja, Along, Ilezik, all those places <clears throat> through Mongoro cement, all of them are smooth as of right now. Wow. Okay. Um, it, but it, it's, you know, those are later, those are earlier tweets, rather. Okay. Um, I don't know if you have anything more recent. All right, so um, I agree to mile 12, very free as the birds of the okay. sky. No kidding, That's how the right? person actually yeah. described it. At this time, birds of the sky. Wow. Yeah. The person as in the person actually used birds of the sky. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in all fairness, actually, I expected a bit of traffic this mm. morning coming mm. to the office. Even my husband was sort of panic mode, like, mm. we need to, you know, the traffic situation this morning. Yes. But funny enough, but it was quite free. You know, the thing is this, I, oh, I've also free. observed something. When certain organizations take their Easter, Christmas break, break, they tend to take it like all through the week, so it's possible. Oh, really? And you know, children are still at home. Oh, yes. yeah, children yeah. are still at home. So yes, it's next yes, Monday, yes. we're going to really experience feel this that traffic. traffic. The yeah. school buses mm. will get back on the road next week. Yeah. You know, all the staff vehicles that take teachers and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, what? there are some families that have dedicated cars for their kids. Yeah. <laughs> and those will be on the yeah. road too. Yeah. Sure. So, sure. hey, there's no. And then I see crawling traffic at about 3.26 kilometer per hour. Uh, this person is wow. bad. Though. This is a tweet <laughs> uh, on Isheri Olofi roundabout to Ikotsu Terminal, Lagos. Okay. Yeah, so that's wow. more. So, Mike, what else do you have for us? Mm. Hashtag ladies for the traffic. <laughs> now you see that there's no need for me. When it, now, when it comes to hashtag, let it trend on Twitter. Ladies for the traffic. Go on your time. Just put three of them. We oh set you up anywhere around the country. They will set you up. I mean, Mike, I hope you realize that that is a very dangerous thing to do because a titi on the road. Uh, Why? What happened? I've, I've, I've said all I have. I, I have no yeah. idea what you're saying. I've, I've said all I want to say. I don't get it. Mike, either. I'm sure you understand right. me, so, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. our route is now, um, my route is now loaded. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, the route is, uh, is for heavy people. So, this is, if you're heading from Aja, that's around um, Aja area, you know, the Aja area. <laughs> and you're heading. <laughs> Is that not your area? You, you know, can't even pronounce it. Even though I'm going to the ah, Mike, not pronounce it. Anyway. It's like, ah, ja, after that, it let's just leave it. So, on. but if you're heading, it's almost free up until um, LCC, Lekki Conservation Center. From that particular point, I don't know okay. why, but it picks up like heavy traffic. Once you get, um, once you approach Lekki Conservation Center, okay. it picks up. There is an alternative route just across um, the Conservation Center. There's somewhere, there's a bypass That's just by a right. Yeah? That's Chevron. Okay. Oh. Yes. Mm. Did Did you, when I, you live in VGC, Mike, Chevron. you should know, right? Chevron, <laughs> it is new is the to the area. Route. It's new oh. to the area. Okay, it's okay, allowed. Mike. We okay, understand. Allowed. I'm not, how can I know everywhere? I just know my, you know, exactly. those places. You just know your, you mind your business. Liar, liar. You and your neighbor, you don't talk too much. <laughs> you mind your business. All right, uh, that's all um, uh, on traffic this morning. Hope uh, you can find your way um, fast. Because, man, uh, the, man, I really, 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 really uh, don't like traffic. Mm. I really don't. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, about to join ladies. Incidentally, there's a whole lot being celebrated today. It's World Book Day. I don't know why TT didn't know they didn't notice really, that. Mike? Really? But then, World <laughs> English Language Day. And also, it's um, a Shakespeare's commemoration of birthday. Shakespeare's birthday. Yeah. So, the ladies yeah. are about to talk about their best uh, Shakespeare quotes and books. Mm. Let's head over mm. to the coffee table. I'm about to join them. All right. 
I don't okay, understand why Mike is putting us all on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Shakespeare. I want to put Mike on the screen. So there was, a, there was uh, we went out for, for an assignment last week. And okay. Mike just happened to be in the car. Hmm. And, um, you know, let's just put it that the, window, the windows the were down. Let's just put it that way. The windows were down. Okay. And the there was a lot of traffic. Okay. And Mike was one of Cranky. the crankiest children I had ever met. <laughs> I say, I'm bound, Ruby. I'm more calm. <gasps> In traffic, than Mike. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was like, just all over the place. Like, I, you don't, you don't <laughs> see. So the point is this: if I can find somewhere and sit down or take mm. a drink somewhere, mm. I would be in that traffic. To Look, to not be so in that traffic. There's a particular time when I was when I was in school. Like I got to my house by 1 a.m. What, mm. what was the reason? I just did not. I waited up until like 12 because now they had chronic traffic. Okay. It's like East West Road that time, Minipot Choba was very, very tight. The road had issues. So there was chronic traffic. So I'd wait till like 12 before I leave school. So I'm going oh. Like, that's how much I don't enjoy traffic. So, man. I've never seen anything like no, that. No, 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 but there are actually people that don't. So I have, I don't um, enjoy traffic, there's man. a colleague of mine, Dele. Yeah. Uh, before Dele relocated to the UK, Dele wouldn't stay one minute in traffic. Mm. The few times we would run into each other at the bus stop because we were living in the same neighborhood and I drag him to board the bus. I have, I have, in fact, it's just like I've invited trouble. Oh, wow. From the bus stop till we arrive, mm. there we are the one. Okay, no, so, the one. we shouldn't have been. All right, so let's see, let's, let's, let's have fun. Advice. Shakespeare, Shakespeare, let's have fun. Today is Shakespeare's L let's birthday, or rather it's the day that um, most scholars celebrate, celebrate Shakespeare. Shakespeare. So there's no birthday. actual date, date. Um, indicated that was his birthday, but yeah. internationally speaking, mm. this is the day they celebrate him. So let's talk about your best Shakespeare play. Which one comes to mind? Mm. Um, I well, think of Macbeth. Mm, Macbeth. And Macbeth. I don't know why. Just like any time I give me, one quote me from and quotes, I've ah. never been good at quotes. Ah. Mm. Okay, so um, okay, for me. Uh, let me let me let me think of that quote in Macbeth. That was um, mm. okay. So there's a title that he had murdered sleep. A thing had murdered sleep, and uh, okay, no. So it was two titles for Mac for Mac uh, for. Um, Oh. Uh, ah, it's, it's coming, Shabo. He shall sleep no more. He had murdered sleep, but he shall sleep no more. That was Macbeth. Macbeth was Macbeth. Yeah. Murdered sleep. Yeah. Uh, that was not my favorite. Yeah. Now, yeah. Macbeth is not my favorite. But, you know, there was something. We talk about the eats of March and all of that. Don't try me. You where we call to Shakespeare. Are we? Ah. So but Mike I know Titi. actually I know really Titi. does appreciate, um, um, you know, literature, and it, he just he just quotes it all this comedy. Double, but double the, toil and trouble. Ah. ah. Oh. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> From... Google, Google is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but which is your favorite? All right. So who remembers Twelfth Night? I remember who remembers, who remembers, who remembers the Merchant of Venice? Uh, hey, oh, Shylock. Merchant, Shylock, exactly. Merchant, of, that, was, that was, so that story, like, it got me, like, when I, read, when I read that play, so we we would do Shakespeare, and then we did some plays. Mm. Merchant of Venice was one of my best ever. Like, mm. dude, the, 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 the wisdom that was on display there yeah. was just something else. Shylock, the, 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 the greedy merchant, that guy was a bad guy. Okay. You know? flesh. That so a that guy. A pound, pound of flesh. Of flesh. It was such a, pound a big of flesh. deal. Um, the truth is there were so many terms, um, so many concepts, so many mm. ideas that came from Shakespeare, so many phrases that I'm came from him, so many quotes that people remember. And the truth is, sadly, these days people are not reading books as, as, much, much, as, as much as they yeah. should. Um, fine, people are watching them, but then you can't appreciate some of those quotes uh, as much unless you actually I mean, open up the book and read Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Then the taming of the shrew. Yeah. That's the taming, the of, taming the of the shrew. Oh, no, no, no. So, I, I, mean, I appreciate that particular one because it, what a shrew referred to was a stubborn woman. Mm. And that particular story stuck with me because they were trying to tame this woman that just could not be tamed. <laughs> uh -uh. Damn. Damn and damn that it. word shrew made me feel... I think that's one of the reasons I, I became a feminist. Mm. I'm telling you. And that's probably one of the most feminist oh, well. plays you can ever find. I can't relate with any of them. Really? Ah, it's not bad. So, you didn't I do did, literature? Did, uh, I did. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but in... You heard the story okay, of okay, those King Lear okay. and his daughters. Oh, no, I, I never read King Lear. King Lear was just something else. Yeah. King Lear was just something else. So much ado about nothing. There's yes. quite a lot, man. Like I'm thinking. Okay, of, yeah, I remember much ado about nothing. Like mm -hmm. I'm just thinking of which and one didn't I read or watch? Uh, you understand? And mm. then of course, um, the uh, one Anthony, Anthony and Cleopatra is actually more of a historical play because they actually existed, you know. Uh, but he also created stories around actual people like Julius mm. Caesar. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
and made them even more memorable in, in days like this. So many movies. I feel that with all these discussions mm. going on, I think you guys, you and CT, since you both are, you and me, Mike and you, <laughs> since you both are so passionate about wow. this Romeo and Juliet <laughs> film, <laughs> maybe you guys can like do a line, like act no, out a line or a scene. So act in Romeo well. and Juliet. Oh. Juliet. Yeah, because Romeo and Juliet was, I mean, every, every like practically. So what family are you going to belong to? Too. I think. Uh, 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 the, the Montag, the, 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 okay, the you would you. like to be Romeo and Juliet. The Capulets, yeah. the Capulets. Okay. I was thinking you might want to be a dad. So we could do like a yeah, act out so a scene. The truth is, those oh. quotes we got, we got were so we intricate in PG. that you would be well. You would be PG. doing it an injustice huh? if you. CC is just really this thing. No, no. Relax, we'll Romeo and Juliet in PG. Like Let's hear Mike's version. Oh yeah. I'm empty. She have sense. We want to put us on the spot. No, 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 we are spotters. Right. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. You said in Pigeon, right? Romeo and Juliet. Mm -hmm. In Pigeon. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so now, <laughs> just check, take a look at my Instagram profile. <laughs> Scroll down. My second post ever. It was when I acted Romeo and Juliet in Pigeon. <laughs> That's all we can take on our acting for the Reverend Jake Welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria on stage with us right now. We have Michael Oludre, a gospel music recording artist. Now, he's also a songwriter and voice coach. He has an album to his credit, and he just shot a video for his hit single, Igwe. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. All right. I know you've been gearing up to prepare. Uh, well, you've been preparing for this particular performance. Yes, I am. Uh, it's Igwe you're performing? Yes. All right. Fantastic. Yes. I can't wait to see this performance. Thank you. All right. Take it away. Thank you. Hey. Nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody wow. Mm -hmm. Nobody like you, Jesus. Igwe. Thank you so much Thank for you. that performance. Thank you. Now, uh, a lot of people do understand what you were saying. But for those that don't understand, what was that key line that you were saying in, in the chorus? Igwe, in, we are elogizing the name of God, giving mm -hmm. credit to God who has created us. Okay. And we are calling him, he's the king of kings, that I am that I am. Okay. That's just what the song is about. All right, so I, I read there that you are a songwriter as well. You wrote yes. this particular yes, one. Yes, I did. Was there something happening at that point that you decided to write this particular song? Not... Um, not actually. Okay. I was just going from work that particular day, then the lines started dropping. Oh. So I just got home, put mm. pen, um, paper together, and started writing the song. All right. Just called up my producer and just went to the studio and we have this done. Okay, so how long was it from the second it hit your, your mind to write this to end of production? How long did that take? I was, from beginning to the end, it was about three months. Wow, 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 three months. So for those that think it's easy to just go and produce a song, it's not easy. It took him three months to put that together and it's beautiful. Uh, I, I saw the video as well playing just now. So uh, talk to us about the process of putting that video together. Um, the video took, it didn't come up until um, a year after. Okay. You know, I called um, a video director, um, Correct Films. Oh, okay. So, you know, we, I sent the song to him we both sat down together and came up with the concept. is progressing very nicely and we hope you're not having it too hard getting back into work mode you know it's a work week yeah we have yeah to get you back know to eat work. if you don't walk home <laughs> but then wake up Niger has the primary mission of chasing blues away mm. so that you can step out and get things done the best way that you can very important now we have another two hours to go mm -hmm. we have a very robust lineup for you this morning mm. And of course, you should plan to stay tuned till the very end. My name is Titi Lyo Oyinso. And I am Mike Messikeno. This hour and three quarter promises to be fun. So, if you need to, you can stream live on tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. For comments, use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria. You can also download our mobile app right now, any of the app stores, yeah? Mm. Play Store, Google Play Store, the iStore, anyone, 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 we're all there. 
And of course, anywhere in the world, you can watch us. Okay, yes. so um, we have a chef this morning. Yeah. But um, is a chef in the house there? <laughs> of course she is. She is? She is. Wow. My chef Mike. Ayo. Is it Mary? <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Always what? a pleasure to be in the kitchen with Chef Ayo. She's the extra chef. Uh, wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. The chef that, oh, what? You are wishing you were here. Please allow her to talk. <laughs> Mike. We want the chef. Oh, please. Okay, so I'm taking off my shoes, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe, and I'm not going to wait for the please break. Please tell me before you throw it so I can dodge. You Chef Ayo, you're looking uh, lovely. This is done. Thank you. I don't want to <laughs> you just saved his life. I don't want the shoe to hit me. Okay, so Chef <laughs> Ayo, you're looking beautiful this morning. How are you doing, Chef Ayo? Chef Ayo, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. Oh, and you? Okay. Ooh. Okay. So this morning we have a breakfast of mashed potatoes and meat sauce, eh? Mm. Yes. You wonder how I know, right? <laughs> you always want to know everything. Ah. Ooh, look at this meat. We just started. We've not even finished setting up, Abi. Oh, uh, uh, yes, I told you she's not. the extra chef. Mm. Ayo, don't worry. Don't worry about Mary. I'll come and help you ensure things are going on fine there. Okay. okay, sit down there. All right. I don't know why she'd be worrying about Mary, Mike. Honestly, I don't she know. Not. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let's uh, go. Mike, we need to bring everyone up to speed with our celebrities. So make sure you have the uh, segment on. Yeah, we've got IBK around uh, yeah. to take us uh, through that particular segment. Yeah, here to save your life. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, you can expect another musical performance from singer songwriter Sarah Udeogu. Right after that, we move on to our pet segment where we'll be focusing on the felines, cats. Yes, so. Cats wow. are cute, you know. Ah, this one. Ah, I don't know. I don't know if this one is. This oh, one, eh? He's sitting with a cat today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this and one is cute. And on parenting today. Mm, how our parents can successfully raise their kids on a united front. Yeti Williams of Lagos Moms will be giving us tips on this topic later on the show. Yes, indeed. Mike said our moms. Oh. We, we, are, <laughs> we are here already. Yes, indeed. Don't worry. Oh. Now, uh, not everyone can easily knot a tie. So this morning, we'll be doing everything possible to help those who can't. It's all about the DIY oh, nice. to learn, uh, well, from P, or rather, what? France clothing. Yes, indeed. Uh, we'll be learning a multitude of ways to knot a tie. Mm. <laughs> yes, indeed. And lastly, joining us for a chat this morning is DJ and musician uh, DJ Cover. I, like, <laughs> I like I like Wade. <laughs> what? <laughs> MM White. <laughs> Jacob. I know, really. I like the lines she drops in her songs. Like, and then the way she bats her eyes mm. in such a very, you know, seductive way. Mm. You could be my lover. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I know, so but I actually, she reminds me of Goldie. She does. I don't know why. Well, uh, she reminds me of Goldie. Goldie Harvey. There's there are quite a, a few similarities, costume mm -hmm. choices, yeah, um, and all that. No, Goldie is extra, extra, extra. Well, of recent. <laughs> That's of three recent. extra. Yeah, like Goldie yeah. can be extra with her costume. Yeah. So like Goldie, Goldie can decide to come in here for initially. Any... Mm. Yeah, sorry. She initially, she, she when wasn't. she started. But she didn't know when she started. We know when she was a little bit. Well, maybe because we were on radio, we knew where she yeah. started. <laughs> and, and the truth is, you know, it's, it's really sad. God rest her soul. Um, I, I wonder what she would have come up with in 2019. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I actually think of I think With a friend it. like uh, they really. Yes, indeed. Oh you know, my every gosh. Time, I, every <laughs> time, you know, I watching her back then, mm. I always compared her with Kylie Minongo. So mm. if you know Kylie Minongo, yeah. Kylie Minongo yeah. used, can be very extra. Yeah. In all her music videos, she's mm -hmm. always extra. Mm -hmm. So you could match her for like a Goldie, so you know. I, beg, I, I don't know that name. What do you call that name? Kylie Minogue. Minongo. Minog. 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 It's Minog. <laughs> Welcome to the Kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Today promises to be fantastic. We yeah. have Chef Ayo in the building. <laughs> Ayo. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> and it's for a dish of mashed potatoes and uh, meat, meat sauce. sauce. Yes, so that's what we're making today. Mashed potatoes and meat sauce. The ingredients are currently on your screen and we'll run through all of them right away. So Chef Ayo. Uh, tell us about uh, today's dish and uh, what we're making use of. Okay, we are making use of uh, mixed meat, okay, um, um, veggies, okay. bell pepper, okay, um, tomato paste, okay, onions, garlic, okay. milk, okay. Then uh, instead of the 
um, tomato, the raw one. We're using the flour. the potato, the raw potatoes. Yeah, we so we're using flour. flour instead. And you still get the mashed potato feel. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> so why do we have raw tomatoes alongside um, this? We did for the sauce for the stir fry. Oh, the there's meatball. gonna be a stir fry with the yeah. tomatoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have our seasoning. So give me that colorful uh, okay. picture. Yeah. Okay. Then um, the lettuce for the garnishing. Garnish. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got as much. Um, and the milk is for the uh, mashed potatoes. Okay. So yeah. the milk goes into the mashed potatoes. Then the egg. And then the egg. Mm -hmm. But I observed. Well, tell us how you came about this. Um, okay. Um, the um, meatballs. Meatballs. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's already marinated, yeah. Okay. I added uh, egg to make it all like to for you to have that uh, strong ball. Okay. Yeah. Then so just egg, no flour. No flour. No, okay. No, no, no. Just flour. Just. Um, so how did you marinate it? What did you put in it? Just seasoning cube, um, curry, thyme, then the egg, then that's it. That's all. That's oh, it. fantastic! And yeah, we also add, um, have this. soy sauce if you want anything you want, basically. Okay, okay. But you didn't include soy sauce? No, no, I didn't. Okay, you kept yours as plain as possible. Yeah, yeah. Great, great. Mm -hmm. uh, so we also have the seasoning cubes, uh, the curry and the thyme. Yeah. Now run us through the process. After frying the meatballs, what happens next? Well, we're going to fry the mixed meat. Okay. Yeah, we have another mixed meat. Oh, so besides so meatballs, meat yeah, we, we are have also mixed meat for the veggies. See why I say she's extra. I'm so extra. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what you're using for the veggies is different from what you're using for the mashed potatoes. Yes. This is going into the mashed potatoes. No, no, it's going to the... It's what? also going into How? the veggies. <laughs> it's going to the veggies. No, like I've, to the, to I've the seen sauce. so many things here. Anything <laughs> can happen. <laughs> to the sauce. Okay, so this goes into the sauce. Yeah. Uh, the meat as well. The rest of the minced meat is yeah, going into going the, to sauce the sauce as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. So while well, you have uh, the meatballs, you still have something else to eat, you know, yeah, one spoon of, exactly. you know. <laughs> yeah, we should idea. call that one spoonful. <laughs> <laughs> the moment yeah, you right. take a scoop, there must be meat or something in something your mouth as well. Right. That's a style. <laughs> okay, so when this is fried, so what do we do we'll next? we put the water now for it. Oh, okay, maybe we should just wait a little. So we'll we allow this, on this finish one. frying. Yeah, okay. then we, we'll fry our uh, mixed meat. Okay, so we fry our minced meat. Mm -hmm. Are we go going to season the minced meat in any way? Yeah, I might still need to add um, seasoning, maybe little or not. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, because we're still why going are we to put frying it since, we, since it's going into the sauce? It has to be because I don't I don't want it to have that uh, raw raw taste. Raw taste. Okay, okay, okay. It's better when it's fried. Okay, so we fried this. We fried the minced meat. Mm -hmm. So what's the process for making the sauce? Then after the um, frying the mixed meat, yeah, yeah we will add uh, the pepper. Okay. In it straight. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're adding the pepper into the minced meat, the fried mm -hmm. minced meat. The fried minced meat. Wow. Then uh, followed by the onions, garlic, uh, tomato paste. Then we can also slice the uh, um, tomato, raw tomato okay. in it. In then it. the last okay. thing going in will be the veggies. The veggies. Okay. I don't want it to be too, too soft. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's how we're making the, mm -hmm. the sauce. So the meatballs come in last. Yes. After everything after has after gone in. Gravy. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So um, of course, you see how the mashed potatoes will be made. Uh, besides us running you through this, I, I had to do this in case you miss some of it. <laughs> but then, of course, uh, we have to take a break now. The show resumes shortly. It's Wake Up Nigeria. Stay with us. Here with me is Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hi. All right. She's a gospel artist who has shared the stage with the likes of Afi Nathan, Tim Godfrey, Don Muen, Eben, and some others. She believes her music serves the purpose, all demeaning situations by the power of God. Wow. I'm loving what you're about to, you're about to inspire us this morning. And I know that you, the song which you're about to perform to, your name comes from a really, really deep place. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna let you do your thing, all right? Thank Take thank it away. You. There's no name in heaven and on earth. Oh, we lift your name, oh God. Nations go. Every other God was 
Welcome back to The Kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. We have something absolutely special cooking in the kitchen this morning. And Chef Ayo is the one in charge. What She's making mashed potatoes <laughs> and, and meat, meat sauce. sauce. Yeah. And it's been fantastic. Like, we've been doing a lot of stuff. Uh, if you check your screen now, you will see the ingredients for mashed potatoes and meat sauce. Minced meat, vegetable oil, tomatoes, tomato paste, onion, pepper, milk, egg, seasoning, and potato flour. Now, take a look at what our sauce looks like so far. Yeah, we finished up. frying the minced, yeah, yeah, minced yeah, meat, the meatballs. Yeah. And now uh, the meat, meat and uh, pepper, fresh pepper. Okay, so the fresh pepper is cooking right mm -hmm. now. So we'll leave it to cook for a while. Okay. So we can make our uh, mashed potatoes now. Okay, so we'll do our mashed potatoes now, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's get started with our mashed potatoes. There you go. Okay, so that's uh, hot water. But you said the water doesn't have to be fully, fully boiled, boiled, right? Yeah. yeah. So we allowed it boiled a bit. So that's... Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever heard anything like bubbled water. <laughs> but that's <laughs> it's, we'll it's it not today. <laughs> hot, it's not warm, it's just somewhere in between. Yeah. yeah. So we have lukewarm for somewhere between warm and cold. But this one is somewhere between warm and hot. Uh, so let's see you make the mashed potatoes. Wow, this continues to simmer. Okay. So Okay. So yeah. I think you need to help me. Okay, sure, why not? So why is there? All right, so this so, is where you get to work. <laughs> yeah, I love to work in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just like that, mm. a little at a time. Our mashed potatoes will be ready soon. Mm. Made by the hot and delectable chef Ayo. Yeah, that's me. The extra chef. <laughs> Ayo's copying me. <laughs> no, My head is you, swelling. you are an extra. <laughs> My head is swelling. The reason this sauce is like this yeah, is so she can okay. achieve her aim of one spoonful. You have <laughs> your mouth filled with meat. Yes, no boring, no boring meal. Now, um, Chef Ayo, you mentioned earlier that this can be made with raw potatoes. Yes. So this is like a cheat. I know, right? Just to, you know, yeah, I don't so need stress. If you, have, <laughs> if you have potato flour at home, 
It's not just for so making the milk. swallow. You could actually use it to make mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. The milk. difference is what is about to happen right now, the milk. So there we go. Mm. Oh my, this is lovely. Yeah, makes you want to have some tea, doesn't it? I know. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So now you're gonna break the... The egg? Yeah. Okay. So just one egg. Yeah, just one. How many do you expect no, this no, no. to serve? No, no, no. We need uh, just the yolk. The yolk? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have to be very careful. Let, very me, let, careful. Me, let me pour out the egg white here. Yeah. Okay. So the egg white is out. It always seems like you can't get all the egg whites out. I anyway. know. <laughs> but at least let me just try my I best. I just tried. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the egg yeah, that's yolk. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's it. There you go. Oh, wow. So Please. we're going to allow it to cook. Yeah, just for a while. A little while. Okay. We're adding oil? No. Okay. So, just, so it's fine like this? It's fine. All of this just because you don't want to use raw potatoes. Or will you use the same process to make you look potatoes? like I'm lazy? No, I don't know. I want to understand because some people might want to use raw potatoes. Yes, if you want to. So if you use raw potatoes, do you have to add milk, uh, add eggs? Because yes, this you one can. is rich mashed potatoes. Very okay. rich. Ha. Chef, I the extra. <laughs> if you don't want to use the raw one, then you have to you have to do the work. Oh, you have to do the work. Okay. So it gives you that feel. Okay. So the raw one doesn't really um, require as much Much. It depends on if you just want it, if you just want to add. Okay. If okay. you just want it. So this is optional. You don't it's have to optional. add egg and milk. To the flour? Yeah. Mm, you have to. You have to. If you want that rich. Uh, okay. is, is you know me now. Yeah, I know you. Uh, <laughs> is it possible to switch the cream with, um, you know, um, powdered milk mixed no, with No, I think it's just better when you use evaporated one. So just, it's a bad idea. You stick yeah, to evaporated milk. just stick milk. to it. You don't want to okay. make any mistake. Okay, okay, great. So our mashed potatoes, is anything else happening to it or it's fine like this? It's fine. So just we're not putting anything? Nothing. Oh, wow. It depends on how, um, how hard you want it. I'm actually thinking of Ogi right now, but okay. Um, so we're making mashed potatoes. <laughs> no, but it does. Take a look at it on your screen right now. It does look like glorified pap, doesn't it? But it's actually potato. It is. Wow. So without the egg and the milk, it becomes like um, a bar or like, semo. Yeah, or semo. Okay. Yeah. So that is what differentiates it. Adding the egg yolk. Yeah and evaporated milk. Mm -hmm. How much longer before this is ready? I just want it to be a, a bit... Uh, More consistent. Thicker. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. And wow. You just have to be just turning it because you don't want, you don't want cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to have any lumps in our milk. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to our sauce. Mm? You said the, the stew has, the, the pepper has to cook with the fried um, minced meat. Yes. What happens afterwards? Um, uh, tomato puree. The tomato puree goes yeah, in? it goes in. Okay, so after the tomato puree, we put in the... Onion. Onions and, and the garlic. Yeah. Afterwards, we put um, the vegetables, that's um, mm -hmm. the peppers. Yeah, and the... Uh, as well as the tomato. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Then okay. after, okay, meatballs. The meatballs. Okay. I noticed you haven't used seasoning cubes. Yes, I haven't. When okay, I'm, so we are yeah. putting the seasoning cubes here as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, I can't wait for you to get started with all of that. So, there you have it. If you've been wondering how mashed potatoes are made with potato flour, especially with the cost of potatoes, <laughs> this is how you can do the cheat easy. Yeah. She Very said it's easy, easy, but it's actually tough. I can't imagine myself mixing all of this already in the morning. When All I'm right. done, I'll have a week up. <laughs> it's time for pet talk. Yeah, I love cats. This cat is so tiny, it looks like a mouse, but it's so cute still. <laughs> I'm actually having you right now, babe. Really? I'm you Titi. I you can always cats. come and take a seat here, Mary. Should Honestly, I? You can. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> the director might not uh, find it funny with me, but uh, this is a segment I wasn't sure about when I heard that there was a kitten coming on set today. I've never been a fan of cats. And there's a lot of people out there that are not. But Kizito 
is here once again. He's our resident uh, pet expert here. And he's brought a little kitten to show to us today. Please tell us a little bit about this uh, young lady here. Uh, uh, her name is Ka. Scar? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she's a rescued cat. A rescued cat? Yes. Okay, so I didn't know they were rescuing cats. I know they rescued dogs, but <laughs> I didn't know they were rescuing cats. Uh, can uh, you tell us a bit about her story? Yeah, the, the owner, the person that rescued them, mm. loved them so much. Okay. And then took care of them. They were actually more than three. Okay. And the, uh, but the owner has neighbors mm. that hate cats. They have that stigma against cats. Mm. So before you know it, you start seeing, it is, it, they have, start hearing complaints mm. from neighbors and then you resort to landlord tenant case. Oh, wow. And then I have to come in and then, okay. Okay. And then come up and, uh, and pick rescue. them up, yes. Okay. I can see some special markings on her hair. She looks a little bit like a, they look like cheetah markings. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular breed uh, of cat that she is? Uh, th this is just our, our own native cat. Only, native cat, yes. like Nigerian native cat? Yes. Okay, so I've heard of native dogs. I've never heard yeah, of native cats. I won't come on native cat. Oh, wow. Okay. It's just a kitten. A kitten. And she's how old? She's two months plus. Two months plus. Yes. All right, so for those that don't know, um, for instance, you decided to rescue these cats now. If someone is in a position to, you know, take care of cats, what's the first thing that they need to know? Uh, if you are able to get a cat, mm -hmm. number one, see your vet. Okay. Like I usually say, become cat educated. Okay. Then how do you do that? Mm. Uh, there are things you should know. Like we are your cat with potty. Okay. Uh, usually they are one of the cleanest animal. Wow, okay. Yes. One they, of the cleanest animals. Yes. They we, don't create messes or they, they don't, are not messy? They, 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 they are not messy. Mm. And then we are the, they, we are the potty. You can create a sandbox for them. They go there to pee mm. and then do their business there. Okay. Well, if they are not comfortable with, with that place, the location of that, if you're not private enough, okay. they tell you. Oh, wow. Yes. How? How do they tell you that? They can go around peeing on the walls, any erected uh, structure in the house, they mm. pee there. It's a signal, that's... apart from the car not being on heat, okay. it's a signal that the place you put the sandbox mm. is not private enough. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. So they're very private animals, they're very mm. clean animals. Yes, and also clingy. They're very clingy, clean. Okay, so they cling to the owners. Yes. Okay, so in other words, like right now, she's, she's, uh, she's been all over you all day. And I, it, I noticed that, you know, she actually clung to your clothes at one point. Uh -huh. um, so I'm actually talking about the clinginess because of the claws now. A lot of people are scared of cats because of the scratching, okay. you know. Um, so that's the first thing you hear about them. So how do you prevent cats from scratching you and or scratching uh, avoid... Anybody. Or scratching actually, anyone? Actually, uh, uh, Cats have that prey instinct, mm. you understand? And they're also carnivore. Mm. So that prey instinct, they are, they, are, they are meant to express it. Okay. So it's not left for you to create a form of aversive for them by bringing up toys, okay. trees, and then socializing them, okay. allowing the cats to meet people. Okay. Now, if they are able to do that, they, you know that this is an environment I'm supposed to be used to. Okay. You get, and then seeing your vet, you find a way to blunt up their nails. You, so they f basically file it, file it, file it off. yes, so you that won't they, have those issues. you won't have those issues. Mm -hmm. And then they are very wonderful companion. We put scar back on the pillow a little so that people can companion see Companion pet. All right, so I, I like the idea of the toys. So the okay. toys now, you see, um, you know, on TV, you see them with toy balls of wool and yes. and things like that yes um so the toys are they a bigger part of them or is there a particular reason why people give them toys specifically or is yeah. it's a, it's a, you know the one thing is uh they have a prey instinct they have to express it mm. they have to scratch they have to explore mm. Mm. so once they have the toy mm. the toy like i said the toy is an aversive mm. they tend to use that energy on the toy on the toys and not on other things. Yes, no, no, that is in the house. Not some cats will end up destroying this, the, the furniture in the house. Wow. Yes, by okay. scratching with their mm. paws and stuff mm. like that. All right then. 
So uh, we have to wrap up now, but uh, are cats good pets in your opinion? Very wonderful pets. Okay. Better than dogs? Uh, yes. Wow. Uh, the research, <laughs> there, there was a research that proved that uh, <laughs> cat owners are tend to, <laughs> tends to be smarter. Really? Yes. Okay. And on that note, we have to wrap up. But thank you, Kizito, for coming with Scarlett. I'm renaming her Scarlett, not which one is Scar. Which one is Scar? No problem. Scarlett, <laughs> the little kitten here. And uh, well, Wake Up Nigeria continues in a bit. <laughs>
these are English words. Okay, yeah. say for example, yeah. you know, we, we tend to say Everywhere. French kiss in English. Yeah. Guess what? The French do the same thing to the English language. They call it la, bless, uh, la baisse anglaise. Okay. And English is usually like oui? they mock themselves. Oui? The English and the French. I, the relationship between the relationship between the English and, and the French has never really been no. It's really never clear been if you go so through good. the yeah. English history true, true. Um, and how a lot of the time they tried to, you know, create ties and bonds by marrying themselves and all that, and it just never really used no, to work it, it because of the fact that they assume that the French have their noses in the air. So the French have always had this pride and attitude and they, they've always had this why grandeur always, about themselves. Why are we always more concerned about learning international languages instead of <laughs> learning our ethnic languages? Okay, so it's, it's not so about being more concerned. Like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not okay, totally let me, ruling let me that mention, out. Let me not, tell no, you no, listen, I'm not ruling that why. out completely. I mm. feel that, no, I would even want, I want more of our kids should actually learn international languages. Mm -hmm. But imagine if I could speak mm. uh, Yoruba fluently yeah. or a robo fluently mm -hmm. or you know any of those languages it's also very important mm -hmm. because i mean we live in you know yeah mm, it's so, true. My, it's so true. you know the answer is, uh, is uh, true. Suya good it's true <laughs> it's really Suya just to buy Suya. like i go to <laughs> see your man confidently wow the way i'll be mentioning uh udu is actually <laughs> interesting <laughs> that in china you know they teach all their kids yeah, how to, to speak, yeah, um, speak english yeah, yeah and they say it's really helped their, no, their society of Japan Japan that we, go, we, we have to go. we have to wrap this go. up welcome back to wake up nigeria and of course, we are on to parenting in raising kids. Parents are often, you know, they have varying opinions on how to go about it. And which, of course, kids can pick up on for optimal results. Uh, our parenting coach, Yeti Williams, is here to give us tips on how to parent from a united front. Hello, Miss Yeti. Good morning. How are Good. you? I'm very well, thank you. How important is parenting, co-parenting together from a united front? It's very, it's, it's critical. It's not just important, it's actually critical, you know. Um, there's a reason why children need both father and a mother, you know, natural in the first place. And I think both um, parents bring something different to the table. So, you know, we, we live maybe in a culture that feels that um, raising children is mostly the, you mother's, know, the mother's responsibility yeah. and the father is, you know, to provide and... That's kind of where it ends typically. Mm. But I think it's really important for both people, for both parents to be co-parents. And that means you're doing it together. You know, you're joined up in how you're raising your children and you're both spending quality time with them. Yeah. The quality time can be different. What you do with them can be different because a man is just different from a woman naturally. So there are some things that a father might do with a child mm. that a mother is not going to do with a child. So when you both do it, the children are the ones that benefit long term. Like you said earlier on, it's usually the mother's responsibility to nurture and cater for the child. In the case where, you know, your partner isn't doing the same, it's mm. not intentional. Mm. But we've known men to be more providers than nurturers. Yeah. How do you, you know, intentionally get him to be involved in your child's life? Yeah. I think one of the first things is women need to kind of step out of the way. Okay. What I mean by that is, you know, a father can want to change a diaper. So let's even start from something that yeah. simple. <laughs> and you, as a woman, you, your, first, your first instinct could be, don't, don't worry, you don't even know what you're doing. I'll do it. Yeah. And while that seems like such a little thing, over time of letting him feel that he can't do it as well as you, don't do it, I'll get to it. He's going to do what? Do it less and less and less. And sometimes these are the things that carry over to other areas. Mm. There's a school event, there's a school play. A lot of women, if we are honest, we might be guilty of not even telling the dad. Mm. We might even mention to him that ah, there's a play in school tomorrow. Yeah. There's this happening in school tomorrow, or this is happening next week, two weeks time. So it's it's a very intentional thing from the woman's side, from the wife's side, to encourage her husband. Now I know some women say things like, "Well, he should know. Why should I be the one to let him know?" Oh, and yes. I say, "Well, do you want to stay on that side of he should know?" Or do you start to move towards the side of when you are both doing it together, it mm. becomes more second nature for him. It becomes part of his, of his lifestyle. lifestyle that, yeah. you know what, I should go to school. I should go to PTA meetings. I should go and see the teacher. I should take my children to school. I'm not doing my wife or my children a favor mm. by being involved as a father. I'm actually 
investing in my children's lives as well and we're all going to benefit from this when we're you know when we've all grown up and the children are adults and can actually have a conversation with mommy and daddy mm. not just mommy, mommy because that's the only yeah. person yeah, not, that's the only person they've talked you to know throughout. it's funny because um you know, there was a time i had to um fear a certain illness so that my dad so that my husband could you know bathe yeah. Um, our baby then she, before she you know she's one year old now by the time she was like a few months old like I had to like oh god I'm so cold I, I'm, I, can't, I can't I you know and then the nanny wasn't around like okay so he had to he bathe had to her you right. know so it's I think it's one of those things you you have you have to consciously do to. okay so um let's talk about there's research basically that um the lack of co-parenting mm. could actually have, you know, mm. cause a child to be more involved in you know lots of social vices mm. how true is this you know, I feel like research is, um, I take it 50-50. Okay. You know, um, I, I also believe that there's no smoke without fire. Mm, right? Sure. So when the research comes out, I think it's important to read it, but to also pause and say there are so many other elements that go into that that you don't necessarily know if it's 100% true or sure not. not yeah. However, I do think if, if something takes two people to make it whole and you have 50%, half of that out of the equation, there's going to be some gap. Mm. So if you just look at it from that very basic level, a mother and father, they will bring different skills to the table. So when you now have one half of that couple not investing their own time, their own best into a particular goal, which is here is raising the children, mm. naturally, the child is going to lose certain things that they would have learned from. And here we're talking about, uh, well, sorry to all the fathers who are very hands-on, yeah. but here we're talking about the majority that we do continue to hear from women is yeah. that their husbands are not involved. Yes. So that's what, so we should just count, you know, make that also very clear. We're mm. not saying that all fathers, all fathers are not are, involved. Yeah, we're saying that majority of the stories we hear and the examples we're getting is one where the fathers are not involved. Mm. And to your, what you're saying about the research, if children don't have a father's um, presence, yeah. you know, in their lives, there are going to be some gaps and mm. you don't want them to fill that gap outside and so the social vices could be anything from they're picking up the wrong thing outside a girl at home for example who doesn't get the love from her father might look for it elsewhere Out, because true. she doesn't know what a healthy male female relationship to is a like, male yeah. is like where if you're if the father at home is the one saying yeah so beautiful though. you know there's a there's a confidence that that girl is going to get mm -hmm. where somebody outside says that to her she's like yeah okay you, you know, there'll be a different yeah. way she would take that kind mm. of compliment from the outside. So I think it's, it's critical and we just have to stop hiding behind the fact that we're raising, making money. Mm. We're hustling. So yeah, we, have we need to be intentional. We have to be parenting. very intentional. Now let's talk about skills because you mentioned earlier on that there are skills that the mother brings and then if there's yes. one father brings. Let's talk about the skills individually so that, you know, people who are listening actually have like, you know, an idea mm. of what to do. Right. Okay. So, um, you know, there are many types of parenting styles, yeah. you know, um, we won't go into them today, but the best type of parenting style that I recommend is something called intentional parenting. Okay. And what intentional parenting means is that we're thinking about what we're doing and why we're doing it. So let me say that again. We're thinking about what we're doing without and why we're and doing, why we're it. doing it. Okay. So, um, so what that means is that there's going to be Hopefully, first of all, as a couple, you've sat down and done something I call parent visioning, parent, which okay. means together, what are we trying to achieve? Mm. You know, you can't start a job where you don't have a JD and you don't have, when you get a new job, you're going to talk to your boss about what are the goals of your um, your function in the yeah. company, what, what do they want you to deliver and yeah, how what? are you going to deliver? Mm. It's the same thing with when you have a child. What are we trying to achieve? Who are we trying to raise? So it's important it's for important. young couples to have this conversation. Yes, to have a conversation together to All say, right. what are we trying to achieve? What kind of child are we, are trying, we trying to, raise? to raise? What kind of family are we looking for? Then together. That's family vision. That's family vision. Thank you so much, Yeti Williams. It's always a pleasure having you here on the show, you know, enlightening us about parenting. And I'm sure that everyone watching right now has been able to get one or two things. Thank you. Thank you. And this conversation has to continue. Yes. Definitely has to. All right. Great stuff happening here on Wake Up Nigeria. Next, we're about to learn how to you know different ways to not a tie guys <laughs> i hope you're watching this and of course mary has that hello mary 
Hi, MM. Uh, this is exciting for me because I really want to know about uh, <laughs> knotting ties. Right. I don't know about anyone else, but knotting a tie seems very complicated for me, uh, which is why I'm glad to have finally found someone who's willing to take their time to show me a few ways uh, to knot a tie. And uh, with me is P. France, Peter France, uh, but of course uh, he's called P. France. P. France, yeah. Yes, and he's going to be showing us different ways to knot a tie. So let's get started. That first, okay. Okay, this is a um, half wing saw. Okay. An easy way to knot the tie. Then just put it this way, then just come straight. Okay. And take it inside. Okay. This seems like the basic one. No, yeah, this is very simple. Yeah. You know, just it seems very easy. Oh, yeah, it's, it's all done. There you go. Okay, and it's called half wing saw. Half How do you put it up? Just easily just drag it out. Oh, just like that? Yeah. Okay, so where do you wear half windsor to? Half windsor, probably most students in school okay. probably are quick. They, they needed something fast. And okay. This is, this is the best way to do this. This is the one I know. Yeah, <laughs> I see, yes. All right, so l l let's get uh, yeah, on to uh, the next one. We have full windsor. Mm -hmm. um, full windsor, okay. Windsor, yeah, okay. Then. This one probably is for corporate people that want it frame and Okay. You check it must be, it must be frame. Okay. And you move to the other way around, then bring it inside. Okay. So you have to turn it. Yeah, this to make way. Sure, to make okay. sure it's firm. Then. Okay. And bring it out. You can see this one is more tighter. Okay, it's firmer too. Yeah. Ah, but it, it's very different from the other one, and yeah. yet so similar. Yeah, it's common. Because at the end you get the same result. Same shape. Hmm. But that one is more easier mm. and it's fast and it's quick. You made it look easy. I'm going to have to rewatch this I <laughs> to be sure that I actually but got this, that This one right. is out to pull, okay. but that one is easier to pull. Oh, so that's the major difference. So yeah. how do you pull this one? This one, you need, need to lose this one out before you can the pull it. The knot is tighter, so you have yeah. to actually lose it. it before you pull this one okay. out. Okay, so what, what else are we learning this yeah. morning? And the third one is a stylish one for people that are going for an event, like a red carpet when you look different and you want okay. something sharp. Okay, okay. Let's see you do and that one. Side, you need to make the side smaller. Okay. We are coming three times for this, then you come this way. And you bring it inside first. Okay. Once you bring it inside, then you set, then turn it first. Okay. Then you come again the second time. Okay. And before you put it inside. What, what is this one called? The stylish wind saw. The it's stylish wind, wind saw. saw is okay. fashionable. Okay. The so English what we call learned it today from are different wind saw ties. Wind saw ties. Okay. Uh, then you bring it out. Okay. You can see this one has the two layers. Yes. It's different from the first one. And yeah. So you achieve these two layers by just those twists and turns. Twist and turn and. Okay, okay. This one okay. is the stylish one. You want it to look different. You want it to look mm. something sharp. Okay. From the regular tie, then mm. it's the stylish one. The okay. English we call it fashionable tie. Oh, it's called fashionable, fashionable tie. tie. Okay, yeah. so this is for if you have events. Event and you want it to look different. And okay. There's another way you can know this for okay, a female. Okay, sure, show me. Okay. Oh, for a female? Yeah. Uh -huh, now you're talking. Okay. I can identify with that one. Okay. All right, so we'll just leave uh, the men to do the nothing of their tie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one seems complicated to yeah, use in yeah, as well. Very, yeah, very hard. Okay, okay. So, uh, 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 all right. For the female. Mm-hmm. No, it's meant to be shorter. Okay. Then you set it first. Okay. Then you bring it out to this way. Okay. You know, the other one came to the right hand. This yes. one is coming to the left to hand the left. side. Yeah. Then you set it and you bring it out this way. Okay. Then you bring it down. You put your thumb's finger okay. inside. Then you put it up to the first one, not the second hole. All you bring right. It out. Yeah. All right. So two holes have been created. I see yeah. that. So you put it out. To the first one. You can see. Okay. This one is tinier. Yeah, than the, see, yeah. yes. It's for the female. Oh, wow, nice. Okay, so I learned uh, four different types of ties today. Three for the guys and one, one for, for the, the females. Female. What is this female tie called? It's still this tie, fashionable tie, oh. but for, for female. I thought you were going to call it the female windsor. <laughs> <laughs> Not the female windsor. Uh, thank you so much, P. France. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah. All right, so um, we have uh, a conversation coming up, but that will be after this break. Uh, but you should know that DJ Copy is our guest of the day, and uh, the conversation will be taking place right after this. Stay with us as we come back.
Welcome back. Florence Ife Oluwao Tedola, better known as a DJ Copy, is a disc jockey and a record producer. She released the House of Copy as her first compilation mix in 2014. She set off on her first DJ tour in 2015 across Africa titled Copy Takes Africa. And she currently has a new single out titled Abena. Mm. <laughs> Welcome. I, I, Good morning. There has, to be, there has to be a ring to that thing, Abena. No, right? Abena. Abena. Oh, tell us, Abena. Abena. So it's actually a Ghanaian name. A mm. lot of people struggle to pronounce it, as mm. did I when I first heard it. Mm. Okay. But it's my new single. I'm really excited about it. Um, you know, it's inspired by Ghana, a fusion of truly original West African music. Mm. Mm. And I'm really proud of this project. I shot the video in mm. Ghana as well. Okay. And it features two Nigerian artists and a Ghanaian artist as well. What was so the, we what was the, what, okay, so what does Abena mean? It, is there any special meaning to yes. it? Yes, so Abena is a, it's a name. So it's a Ghanaian female name. And um, I believe, well, so I've been told that it, it means Tuesday. Tuesday? Yes. Like today? Exactly. Uh, so really? how perfect is this? <laughs> Abena means Tuesday. Okay. So Abena, everybody. Mm. Um, so it's just a name. And I kept on hearing it when I was in Ghana. Okay. okay. So I actually left Lagos for a while to go to Accra to just get inspired. Mm. You know what it's like um, trying to make music? A lot of artists realize trying to make music in your own environment. Mm. It's so distracting. Yeah. You mm. know, so I needed to get away, have a break. I was in Labadi Beach writing music being inspired and you know we kept on hearing oh abena 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 i just love the song and that's how it came about it's a love story mm -hmm. it's amazing you took you took you just took a name and, and worked with it and you made it work but i, I have to ask about your name of so, course copy yes like from where to where <laughs> what, co copy what, i, think I know. people have been trying to figure everyone that out. asks how i came up with the name copy so copy comes from cupcakes mm. when i was growing up i loved baking and i still okay. do today, today. <laughs> i don't have that much time to bake anymore but you know I was a very cheerful child full of happiness chubby cheeks <laughs> and I <laughs> love sweet things so everyone used to call me cupcake my mom my dad wow. and cupcake became my nickname and when it came to choosing a DJ name when I was 16 naturally cupcake stuck mm -hmm. and as I've evolved from just DJing to now making music yeah. Copy is my name. All right, then. <laughs> Something you just said, and this is a question I've always wanted to ask. And Please tell I've always me. wanted to ask, how do you, 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 you said you're a happy child. Yes. I can feel your happiness. Like, mm. there's something <laughs> that radiates from you. How have you been able to keep up this kind of happy spirit in spite of the extenuating circumstances? Now, yeah. at different times, you've been, they've, you've, you've been a subject of memes, yeah. internet Absolutely. trolls. It's yeah. a steady thing on your... When, yeah. when one goes to your page, it's a steady thing. Now, this is <laughs> when I really... How, and you're human. Absolutely. How do you, I, everyone, how do you keep I, your I, light Thank you for pointing love? that. I am a human being. Um, you know, I, I definitely experience a lot of criticism. Um, but you know what's really interesting? I do what I do purely because of passion. And, you know, people always say they love my resilience, you know. Despite what people say, I've never stopped doing what I'm doing. Um, and I feel like a lot of people do have a lot of opinions. Um, you know, sometimes I struggle. We were talking, you know, before we aired about being a woman in this yeah. industry. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, I am a female DJ in a male-dominated industry. industry. Mm. And, you know, every single day I have to kick the door and fight. Mm. And my passion keeps me going because as of anything in life, you know, we have good days and we have bad days. So on the bad days, you know, on the challenging days where I have to wake up at 4 a.m. <laughs> mm. You know, my passion is what keeps me going. Now, in terms of the criticism side, yeah. um, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and complain and say, oh, poor me, help me. Yeah. <laughs> because I feel like as someone in the public eye, I have a responsibility. You know, I definitely, by being in the public eye, I've opened myself up to opinions. Mm. You know, and everyone is entitled to their opinion, but the only difference with me is just, I don't let people take away from my passion. Mm. You know, I love what I do. And I cannot believe I literally have a job where <laughs> I get paid to travel the world and entertain. And entertain I feel people. so blessed. You know, I always say, 
find a job you love and never work a day in your life. All right. Mm. So it's interesting. Like that. It's really interesting you should talk about the work aspect. Now, you did say you started this DJ thing as a teenager. Yes. Um, but there are, of course, other critics that say it probably wouldn't have been as smooth if you didn't have family support behind yes. you and yes. financial support behind you. Yes. So traveling the world <clears throat> for another DJ, uh, albeit a female DJ, probably wouldn't have been so easy. Right. You have a very good point. You know, um, I'm very proud to be the daughter of a very, very successful entrepreneur. I'm very proud of my father, Femi Oterola. He inspires me, keeps me going, challenges me as well. Now, it's really important to understand that, you know, in life, we all have opportunities. Now, some people have more access than others, and mm -hmm. I completely acknowledge that. True. And my dad has helped me, not financially, but he's helped me morally. You know, the days that I haven't I felt like quitting, you know, he's pushed me. I see him too. You know, my father, being who he is, is still up working in an office, yeah. mm. you know, not stopping. Yeah. Now, regarding those doors that open for you, it's how you execute them, okay. how you prepare for those opportunities. Mm. So, you know, despite having a platform, mm. I've been able to go this far in my career mm. because of my hard work and my consistency. You know, you can have opportunities, but if you don't deliver, True. there's only so many times that those opportunities, those opportunities will, come will, will come around. You know, True. and um, I, I have many, many friends and many people I know from, you know, very entrepreneurial, wealthy backgrounds. And unfortunately, they haven't been able to be consistent True. because of the amount of dedication and that hard work required. it takes. You know, so I always say to people, um, it's about your work ethic. It's not where you start, it's where you're going. Mm. And, you know, I'm really okay. proud and I've actually acknowledged, mm. I really think I'm one of the hardest workers in the music industry. <laughs> All right. I actually think so, so yeah. I, I wanted to mention um, quickly uh, your educational background. You, you did get a master's in, in business. In, so I have an undergrad in economics okay. and business and a master's in music, actually. Okay. Mm. I felt like, unlike most people in my industry, education is really important. It's great playing and you know experiencing music, but sitting in a classroom to understand the roots of music was very important to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually a profession in music. Wow. Education is so key to me. And you know we were talking as well about philanthropy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. because of my passion for education, I started the Cuppy Foundation and I'm yeah. very proud. I have 10 students that I've Ooh. currently enrolled wow. into University of Lagos. I support them. You know, I try and I try and do what I can because I'm sitting on this chair with you guys because I've been given an opportunity. So I must also give others an opportunity as well. Okay, cool, cool. I just wanted to a series of questions very, very fast, <laughs> but let's let's feel a bit of your music yes. very fast and then we'll take these questions. Let's let's light light me up. Let's feel the music a bit. <laughs> Uh, 30 timer. seconds. I want to see how many, how okay. fast she can answer these questions. Okay. 30 seconds. Okay. Do you have a timer? 30 watching, seconds. Okay, let's go. Eagle or lion? Lion. Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, I can't, I can't. Okay. I love them both. Next one. Favorite food? I'm a... <laughs> Night or day person? Night. Android or iOS? Uh, Android. <laughs> Favorite color? Pink. Oh. David or Whiskey? Hmm. Really? With video. <laughs> Black like or white? That. I like that. White. Big yeah. or small? <laughs> Big. Big oh. what? <laughs> Favorite car? Ooh. Um, mm. car. I don't even know. Oh. oh. Copy in a Rari. Okay. Yeah. Biggest addiction? <laughs> Work. Oh, Favorite movie? Nice. <laughs> um, Favorite movie? That's a good question. <laughs> Seven? <laughs> Six. I am a tanga. <laughs> <laughs> if you, you were a superhero, what superpower would you want? Invis to What's be invincible. What superpower? To be invisible. Yeah. That's oh, I can Captain see what Marvel. I can see what people really say about me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. Okay. Finally, <laughs> what advice did you get that was the most rewarding to you? Mm, that's a really good question. I think, especially as there's so many young people that you know are trying to figure out where they are at. Mm. My biggest thing so far has. You know, I keep talking about it, it's passion. You know, mm. you have to do what you do because you want to do it. I feel like in Nigeria, there's too many parents and too many just people that are telling young people, what to do, do this, do that, you know, be a doctor, be a lawyer, have children. Where's your husband? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, where's your husband? Where's your husband? Where is my husband? <laughs> husband, where are you? Uh, at least we do 
have to answer you? to one question. <laughs> where the food is at, and that's in the kitchen. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, let's go. At least we can deal with that for now. Yes, yep. we can. Let's go. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, right here, right here. Hi, wow, your seat right here. Yeah, take a seat. Lucky me. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. <laughs> Did you see we were having a party over there? Yes, yeah. we were. You're welcome to the kitchen. Okay. Thank you. Uh, today's chef is Chef Ayo, okay. and she's made this fantastic dish. Tell us about this, Chef Ayo. Okay, mm. this is mashed potato and um, meat sauce. Okay, meatball sauce. Yeah, meatball sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of using the raw um, potato, I use the uh, potato flour. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, we, uh, I added milk and raw egg in it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this is lettuce to garnish it. Then. All right. So we've been talking about this food for a while. Yeah. And we've been, we've been raving about how amazing you are I'm as a so chef. So excited. now you get to taste the food. I can't wait. What inspired using potato flour instead of potato? Mm. Actually, uh, stress. <laughs> I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. The, the texture is very light, maybe yes. because it's flour. Okay. And yeah, yeah, and there's milk in it and <laughs> egg. So if someone told me to ask this question, it's the final one. <laughs> what do you look out for in a man? Oh, wow. Good Mike. food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, to cook. Oh, he needs to learn how to make meatball sauce and, you know, well, potato flour. Wow. <laughs> I hope they've been watching. I'm on a long team. And I can't cook. Mike has been fighting for a way to shoot. What else? What else? Good food. What else? Was that a question someone asked you? That's your question. <laughs> someone is somebody's name. It can be my name. A man has no name. <laughs> um, you know, I what feel else? like um, just ambition. OK. You know, I'm someone that, for example, like, I can't really cook, but I'm inspired to do this because mm. I think we can all do what we want to do if we focus. Yeah. So anyone that's ambitious. Okay, I'm going to learn how to cook, but then uh, we have to wrap up the show. It was a whole lot of fun with DJ Coffee in the house. Yes, a big shout out to Homely and G for the kitchen accessories. <laughs> of course, and a big shout out to Fola at Fola's place for this amazing hairstyling. You know we love you, Fola. Yes, MM, I'm looking at you. <laughs> but I'm looking at you too. <laughs> we've had an amazing day. Hopefully, we've started your day the right way. I've been now on Tuesday. Today's I've been day, Tuesday. Wow. That's wow. what it means, right? Have a great day, you guys. Bye. 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 B